In this video, I want to show you what we do in preparation for a launch day. I also want to show you the actual launch of House Ferro. So stay tuned, keep watching, and if you know somebody that might be interested in buying House Ferro, share this video with them and tell them to also subscribe to our channel. Today is a vlog day. I want to take you guys along as to the day in our lives for launch day. So today is Monday. We are launching on Tuesday evening. These days we are not rushing as we used to where it's crazy and shouting and screaming and running around as much. Even, even though there are procedures in place, um, that still doesn't mean there's no work. So there's quite a bit of work and quite a bit of things we need to get done. Uh, so normally on Monday mornings, we typically have a meeting. Rihanna also, it's, our, it's her first show house with us. So she's learning the processes of getting everything set up. Uh, we arranged for catering to be rented. We typically rent glasses and tables and that type of thing. In the beginning, we used to do it all ourselves. We, decide, we, we realized it's not really worth it. So um, she sorted uh, all of the catering out, uh, the catering equipment effectively, glasses, zinc baths, tables, tablecloths, that type of thing. Uh, that's all coming in tomorrow. She also picked up the number. Normally the house number is one of the last things to go up at a house. Staging is all about showing the house off as good as possible. So this house is not a massive house. So it doesn't make sense to, to stage it fully with furniture because we're expecting more than, I don't know, 70 people. So if 70 people are in that space, it will be quite full. So furniture would have been an overkill, but we always do accessorize. So when there's floating shelves and stuff like that, like there is at this house, we typically want to stage that with flowers and plants and vases and uh, maybe a couple of books. So we've built up over the years a bunch of uh, styling and accessories and the idea is that we will set the house up to look as good as it could in on that stage evening or on that launch evening essentially. But while all of this setup is going on for House Ferro which is launching on the 2nd of August it's currently the 1st of August so for tomorrow night um, we also are effectively taking transfer of a new property which is house terra uh, today which is the first i'm not sure we haven't made arrangements yet exactly for uh, getting keys and all of that but essentially we own the well we are in occupation of that property from today so um and then there's small other maintenance stuff and so on that we are also handling and obviously all three the other sites are also running at the same time so a lot of organization going into making sure none of the other sites fall behind while we are focusing just on setting up and getting ready at House Terra, uh, House Ferro. So I am um, focusing mostly on that while LaRue and my father's part of this project is essentially done. So ideally we would uh, want all the other houses to work perfectly and, and for construction and all of that to continue on the other houses, as well as moving the construction teams from House Ferro out to other sites, um, while we only have guys doing touch-ups and uh, final styling and cleaning and that type of thing at this steel house, House Ferro.
So like I said earlier, um, this is still, uh, this is Rihanna's first time on doing a show house um, or a launch event. So we are still making sure by the end of these five hours that she, she'll be able to run the show house without me. Um, that's the ideal in any ways because if you have systems like that in place, I can be on holiday while she opens the showers, right? <laughs> That's exactly. the plan. Right now, we are heading to a liquor shop. Um, normally, when we do a show house, we try to uh, put as much effort as possible into making it a vibe. One of those things is we give beer and wine, right? Because <laughs> uh, it creates a bit of a vibe and people coming out on a Tuesday evening, having a glass of wine, you know. Um, we also try to create a bit of a social event from it in the sense that we don't, um, we don't just have them come through, have a look, leave. We only give the info a bit later of the house, so like the price and the square meterage and all of that. Um, and the idea behind that is we want people lingering a bit. We'll be making a nice fire at the house, at the, <laughs> at the bright area of the house. Lingling and lingling. Lingling, lingling, lingling. <laughs> um, we we want to have them lingering and mingling. And, and I think the idea of that is people need to see themselves living in this house. Uh, they need to see me and my closest 70 or 100 friends at this house. I'm entertaining 70 people at a house in Ferry Glen. Exactly, and that, that's the vibe we want to create. So that's why we have beer and wine and water and whatever. And that's why we also give it some time. So we say six o'clock and then we only start at like 6.30 or seven with the main events. That, that way we actually give people a bit of a chance to um, to, to get a feel for the, this house and we and we almost force them to stay and have a glass of wine with us. We just want to create that hype and that uh, vibe to the house so that it does sell on the first night or, or th that we at least get a contract or two on the first night. I just had to run quickly to um, the car to meet my dad outside to get a card, which is the right card, <laughs> for the house. Because uh, I just realized as we parked here that we did not have the right card. So um, it's very important for us to make use of the right card for every purchase. Because that's the only way we really keep book of which houses has which expenditure. Currently, I don't have cards anymore for the specific houses, so um, a bit of a mission in terms of um, planning and so on. Uh, so we're quickly giving card back to my father. Normally, Dupi does this type of shopping, and he's got cards as well. But Dupi is on leave this week, so currently uh, we are rushing about a bit. So back on the site, um, we are offloading all the water and beer and stuff. Guys, there's also wine in the front. Okay, make sh make careful that uh, be careful that box is 
is might fall apart so Emmanuel just here where I said that table is gonna be that's where we'll set this uh, leave all of that stuff um, I've also just heard that in an hour and a half time from now we need to get the keys for house Terra earth house so a lot of things happening at once but this is what it is this is Melissa, Melissa, me, me, Lisa, Melissa, <laughs> from Invio Interiors. Can you see that? I'm going to, that's me personally, I think as Big Pond we already follow her, but go and follow her on Instagram and let's see your Instagram blow up. <laughs> cool. Then uh, for, for this property, she is doing, she's collabing with us for all the artwork. So she does a bunch of abstract style arts, right? Um, with your brother as well? Yes. Okay. And what is, what is he on Instagram? Rian Volmans. Rian Volmans. So you can go and follow both of them on Instagram. We're going to quickly put out some art around the place so there's space for them to be put up and uh, nails and everything into the walls. And then we're going to style and I think we'll put all of that into a quick montage right here. Welcome to our newest listing, located in the best part of Ferry Glen we have ever been. This is Ermelo Crescent and I want to show you through. is House Pharaoh. It is number one out of five of our element series. Pharaoh refers to the steel house. So you will see an abundance of steel features all the way throughout this house. It's reflected in pergolas, it's reflected in the cupboards, in the tiles, in the hardware, in the bathrooms, as well as in the backsplashes where there's a rusty steel look. It also as a great living area and real cozy setup. Now, estate agents talk about cozy and that normally re refers to really small. Now, this house isn't massive, but it really is quite enough if you are a family that wants to just move in. So we have set this area up as a little dining area, a lounge behind you, and then an open plan kitchen, all with wooden tops, and a Vermont slate finish on the cupboard. There's also a little scullery with space for appliances. And then coming through the kitchen, there is one bedroom slash study. This used to be a garage, it was converted, and we have cleaned it up nicely, laid down some laminate floors, painted everywhere. So it could be either a study, man cave, or a third bedroom. Coming down the stairs to your left, you will find a bathroom with a large vanity, as well as a bath with a built-in shower. Right next to it, you'll find a toilet with a small wash basin. Right across from the bathrooms, there are two bedrooms, quite high ceilings, 
and then very spacious, large cupboards and also the laminate flooring. Now on the floor you'll see a mapping out of a king size bed. So just to give you an idea, quite spacious, you'll fit a king size bed into both these rooms. They are also identical. Back through the living areas, I want to take you out to the entertainment area. And here we have created a very cool architectural inspired floating braai. So there's a bunch of wooden storage and you can entertain to your heart's content over here. This house is hitting the market right now. It will be in very high demand because like I said, the area is spectacular. It is boomed off and it is hitting the market at a price point of 1999. So just under the 2 million rand mark and great value in this location. Call me, my details are below. We will be having a few showings, but I'm pretty sure we'll have a signed offer on launch evening. <music>